When you mention Hurricane Michael in southwest Georgia more times than not, you'll get a look unlike any other. An indicator of that person having flashbacks of a day they wish they never had to live through. A day that when producers like Andy Bell woke up that morning, their world had been quite literally blown away. One of the first things I did was go to the cotton fields to see how they looked and, and they were as we expected, they were horrible. I mean, we, we lost all of our cotton and half of it was sprayed and ready to pick and the other half was, was just about, could have been sprayed had it not been the hurricane coming. But, but we had an excellent crop and it was, it was all lost due to the storm. Since that day, now more than a year ago, they've had to pick up the pieces and continue on. They decided to replant cotton again this year, which prompted me to ask why. Why would you plant cotton again after losing it all last year? But Isabel told me as we were checking out his field, that's all they can do because that's what a farmer does. We plant cotton every year. We, we buy crop insurance that protects us somewhat from, from a hurricane. It's, 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 not a, it's about a 70% protection, as, as you know, crop insurance. So we just lose the other 30%, 30% but we, we have some protection against a disaster like, like a hurricane or, or drought or, or whatever, but I guess we're just farmers and, and we think it's going to be better the next year. And, and like I said, we have a good crop again this year if we can, if we can get it gathered without, a, without another hurricane. Just a few miles down the road from Bell's farm in the town of Bainbridge, another victim of Hurricane Michael, Pecan Ridge Plantation. Hurricane Michael devastated our farm. We lost about 30,000 trees, basically 650 acres. We lost our entire crop. And what's really bad is we basically don't have a crop this year due to all the stress from the hurricane last year that was put on our trees, and we're still losing trees. They, like Bell and everyone else, have been busy cleaning up the past 12 months. We just got cleaned up. It took us basically six months just to get our orchards where we could even mow you know, back in order that we could even walk, run equipment on them. And then we started, we've been working on irrigation, we've been leveling because it basically, the hurricane destroyed our, our, our floor too. As you can see from the small trees everywhere, they've been busy replanting. But with high demand on tree seedlings, they can't get them fast enough. There's so much uh, demand on tree seedlings. We're about two, a year to two years out of just getting a tree. So we're still, in the long run, we're going to be about nine years out, really, to get back to where we were in production. Amazingly, even with so much chaos and destruction in the past year, they still have hope that everything will be all right. And we're moving forward. You know, hope, hopefully these, we can get the, uh, the price to go back up once, hopefully, the tariff situation will get solved. And I understand China's really wanting to come back in the market on pecans. They love Georgia pecans. So we, we think we've got a good opportunity going forward, you know, but we've just got to, we got to stay in it, you know, be real careful, dodge future storms coming to try to get us there. Reporting in Climax for the Farm Monitor, I'm John Holcomb.